Thank you so much for joining us on the We Thrive podcast, where we share stories about entrepreneurship from around the world and how entrepreneurs are creating an impactful legacy. I'm your host, Casey Clark, founder and chief growth officer of C. Clark Consulting. And today I'm interviewing Crystal McGuire with Wind Supply of Fredericks. So good morning, Crystal, and thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, so originally um, I'm from a really small town in Alabama, hence the accent occasionally. It slips out a little bit. And it is not just any little town in Alabama. It is very country, very dirt road riding, sweet tea drinking, chicken frying, well, pretty much anything frying, farm town. Um, and I actually graduated with 30 people in my, in my uh, class in high school. Wow. Public school. <laughs> yep. And um, my parents were, you know, just the typical bootstrap American dream story. Um, they were teen parents. Um, my dad was 18, 17 when I was born. My mom was 18. And um, he did not finish the ninth grade. My mom finished um, high school, but my dad didn't finish. He dropped out. Um, and then they together built a business um, out of uh, basically thin air. <laughs> and they did, he's done um, construction. He's done uh, contracting and um, cabinet installs, build houses, pretty much my entire life. So that entrepreneurial spirit kind of, <laughs> I guess it, it kind of inspired me. Awesome. So what brought you to Maryland? Well, um, they work their butts off to put me through college. Um, so me and my sisters had the opportunity to go to school. Um, and then after that, um, because I stayed and I got my master's and, and everything. Um, there's not a whole lot of need for sociologists <laughs> out there. Um, so I kind of went my own way. I, I was going to, I was going to do um, like go get my PhD, but um, academia really wasn't calling me. So I picked up and moved to Hawaii um, and lived there for two years. And I, you know, kind of struggled there working, you know, three jobs and trying to make ends meet. And I realized, you know, while it was a really good experience, like I was able to figure out like who I was and more about who I am. Um, I needed a little bit of push in the um, um, career department. And, you know, here I am working for basically minimum wage and uh, struggling. So I joined the army <laughs> and I did that for four years. And that's where I met my husband. We started our family and it kind of got hard after that, like trying to both be in the army at the same time and have a baby and kind of have everything in life that you want to have. Um, so uh, we both decided to get out at the same time and I found Wind Supply. They have a program for veterans. Um, so they teach, basically they take veterans that are getting out, um, usually ju junior military officers coming out and they teach them how to run their own um, local company from the ground up. So they start you out as a, at a salary and you start out literally in a currently operating wind supply, sweeping the floor, um, driving a truck, um, restocking shelves and stuff like that. And they teach you from the ground up how to do that. And so we, I did that in Texas, which is where we were stationed for a while, um, nine months. And then this opportunity here in Frederick opened up. Um, they were looking to kind of figure out how to grow their electrical department here in uh, Nolan. That's the one supply company too. And um, so I came out, I fell in love with Frederick. I absolutely fell in love with it. And I said, this is it where I'm going to be here. This is what I'm going to do. And um, we moved across the country and um, two years later, um, well, two years ago, actually this week, we spun out um, the electrical department into Wind Supply Frederick Electrical. So as you know, the podcast name is We Thrive. So tell me what it means to you to thrive. Um, for me, I think that um, it really means 
to be happy in what you're doing, but continuously growing. So chasing success, I guess, in a joyful manner. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so what obstacles have you faced when trying to thrive personally and professionally? Well, personally and professionally, I think my biggest thing was um, when I graduated, um, I thought I kind of wanted to go one way and in, into academia um, and it, it didn't feel right, I guess. So having that um, piece that was missing for my career was really problematic for me. Um, so, you know, I, I tried academia, then I went into, I, went, I moved to Hawaii and I tried, um, I got my bachelor's in criminology. So I, I did armed security for a little while. I tried working with kids um, for a little while. And, and yes, all, all of those things kind of filled a little piece, but it wasn't like whole part fulfilling. Um, so I think that 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 was something that hindered me for a really long time. And when I joined the army, that filled a big hole. I think it, it pushed me, which is something that I needed, which is something that I crave. I need something to push me to be better, to be, um, to continue moving and to growing like every day and learning something different. Um, but something was still missing, I think. Um, and that part of it was, um, it wasn't mine. Nothing was really mine. Um, I was always chasing someone else's dream. I was always chasing someone else's vision. I was always doing someone else's mission, um, whether I believed in it or not. And I, I, don't get me wrong, I love everything that I learned. Um, I love the leadership part. Um, leading soldiers was probably the most fulfilling thing that I did um, in the army and, and before having my own business, but it wasn't complete yet. So <laughs> I have to ask, do you feel complete with where you are today? Or are you still seeking? I do. I, I have a little craving still of, of where we have to grow. Um, but it, it feels, I'm very satisfied. I'm as far as where my life is, um, if that makes sense. Like I'm very, very happy with where I am um, and where I have to go. So, <laughs> awesome. yeah. I love it. So what are some of the resources that you've utilized to get to where you are today? Oh my God. Mentors, mentors, and more mentors. <laughs> okay. um, I think the biggest one for me was in college um, and in grad school, actually, I had a really great mentor um, that, you know, that person that, that they believe in you sometimes, even when you don't believe in yourself kind of thing. And um, coming through Wind Supply, it was really, really important for me to have a mentor there. Um, the Army was a little different. I mean, you have your mentors set out for you, right? You have your commanders and, and your chain of command and all that. And yes, they are good sources of information, but some of them really speak to you, if that makes sense. Um, and when you're missing that part of it in the army, like if you, if you were, for example, I had a great one in training, he was awesome. But then when I got into the big army, <laughs> I felt that hole, I think, as far as the mentorship went. Mm -hmm. And, um, w you know, they came across occasionally, but it was, it was never long-term. And then I found the, I, I found one supply and um, found a lot of really good mentors. There's probably a hundred people that I could pick up the phone now and whether it's like something technical or something like, you know, fundamental, like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life or, you know, or business wise, Hey, how do I operate this? Mm -hmm. Or how, how do I in, um, integrate this process or something like that? Um, there's some, there's a hundred people I can pick up the phone and call probably four like really, really, really close ones that I call all the time. <laughs> so knowing that you started out in Texas when you were in the military, it's pretty obvious that you probably have connections nationwide, if not worldwide. Yes. So what are some of the resources that you're utilizing locally? Locally? Well, locally, I'm part of a community now, which I had never been part of before. I mean, you have a community in the army, but it's a very small um, community. It's very, um, you know, 
if, if there was a fellow soldier that I absolutely could not stand and they needed something, I would help them. You know, I have no questions asked, whatever you need, like you need a place to sleep for the night. I'm not even going to ask. That's fine. I got you. But there's not like, I missed this core part, um, which came across occasionally, like I said, but because you're scattered across the nation um, with different changing commands and getting deployed and things like that, um, it, you, you didn't get to keep them, you know, those people that really touched your soul. And one thing that I was really happy with about getting out of the army was having a home where I could plant roots and be part of a community where other people are growing their business and other people are, you know, they have their roots and, and now you have this big interconnected, you know, resource tree and forest <laughs> yeah. uh, if you need it, you know, and like, I've just, I just try to surround my people with, um, but surround myself with other people that are, are, you know, going through the same things I'm going through, or I've been through the same things I've been through, or who just want to push me in different ways that I've never thought about. Like, I never thought about, you know, marketing or social media or anything until I sat through a chamber of commerce class and then setting through some of your classes that you've held. Um, I've never really thought about, um, using a consultant until I've met several um, other consultants in the area and stuff. So um, there's just an infinite amount of people that are willing to help you. And um, that's what they do. That's what they're good at. It's what they're passionate about and being able to use their passions to, to push your passion forward is kind of amazing. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And I mean, I am a firm believer in the giver's game, and I think, you know, yeah. you're talking a lot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So talk to me a little bit about building a legacy. So what exactly does that legacy look like for you? Because I know with everyone, it's really different. It is really different. So when I think of legacy, um, I think of, like, success. So, like, in order to have a legacy, I need to be successful. And I believe that a legacy, you know, maybe your legacy is at the end of, you know, I think of it like that's the end of your career or the end of your life or whatever, whatever you've left behind, right? I'm not ready to leave it behind yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I haven't really thought that far in advance, but on the success part, um, I feel like that part's a journey and it, it's not really, it doesn't have an end point. And I, I kind of hate the way a lot of people think of success, actually, like it's somewhere you're eventually going to arrive, you know, like, okay, when I get this, when I, when I get $7 million, I'm, I'm going to be successful when I, when I, you know, get this much in, you know, my bank account, I'm going to be successful or, you know, whenever I have that house, I'm going to be successful. No, I, it kind of bothers me that, um, you know, a lot of people think of it like, like stuff or, you know, end points or any kind of point. I think that it's just a trajectory, you know, and um, I think, don't get me wrong, I'm really grateful for where I am. I'm really, really happy um, for all the blessings that I have and everybody that, you know, put in a lot of effort to get me where I am, um, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm not satisfied with success yet. I'm not done with my planning. I'm not done with uh, developing ideas and being creative. I mean, all of my ideas, all of my plans are constantly changing um, and growing. And I don't want to change that, actually. I, I hope that I stay never satisfied in that regard. <laughs> like it. I don't know who said the quote, but it was something along the lines of, it's not what you leave for people, it's what you leave in people. I love that. I, love that. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like that's what you're saying. Like, you don't want it to just be the stuff, you know, yeah. you really make a mark. Yeah. Yep. Right. I want to make a, I want to make a bunch of millionaires too. You know, I want to be part of so much part of uh, the community that like, that's my legacy, you know, that wind supply is, is just a landmark 
here in Frederick. And when someone thinks about, you know, customer service or they think about, you know, the standard, oh yeah, all wind supply, yeah, Frederick, you know, that's just what they think of. I want to be so part of that and make a lot of millionaires. I want to, you know, help my, my customers to, to become wealthy. I want to help my team to become wealthy. I want to help, you know, other people in the community, my mentees, I want to mentor myself. So that's what I want. <laughs> I love it. Definitely creating a huge impact. Awesome. So if you could give some nuggets to our listeners, what would they be? Stay unsatisfied. <laughs> Um, and no matter where you are in life, um, you could always use a mentor, no matter how old you are, no matter, you know, if you're, if you're stay at home mom, if you're a direct sales or if you're building an empire, whatever it is, you can always use that, that inspiration, you know, wherever it comes from, whoever it is, whoever inspires you, just being able to talk to someone that, that gives you that, that deep feeling that you want to keep going mm -hmm. awesome so is there anything else you'd like to share with us that you haven't mentioned so far i think that about covers it <laughs> awesome. well again i'd like to thank you for being a guest today and i'd also like to thank our music sponsor stephen lamar moore who produced our theme music for the podcast so thank you again crystal and i'm looking forward to thriving with you in the frederick community Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. <laughs>